Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Play Store console account where you're able to drop or upload all your Android applications. Open your browser and go to play.google.com forward slash console. This will come by default which account or Google or Gmail account that you logged in, but you have a opportunity of changing. So what you have to do, you're going to select that account and you'll be able to switch the accounts. Now, in this case, in case it's among the ones that are logged in, you can just go ahead and select. But if it is different, just click use another account. For my case, I just want to use Davug H1. Now, when you come to the section, there are two sections. One, if you're an organization, you're just going to select organization. Then you'll be able to select which type of the organization. But if it is a personal, because you're going to be private as you as a person, just come down to yourself. Then you click get started. Now, in this case, you're going to be given to understand what you need kindly take your time and read all this because you need an email address for the developer you also need a contact number an email address for google then a form of payment of course you're going to pay 25 usd as a rotation and it's one-time payment for the lifetime forever that will not be unless policies change in the near future so after that go next now you're going to give your developer name this is going to be dav ug just as simple as that then you go to next and now as you can see, we have finished all these sections. So we also need to create a payment profile. What profile are you going to be using? So you're going to create or select a profile. And then you will see if you don't have any, just click create a new profile payment profile. Then you continue. But for my case, I already have two profiles here. Um, let me select one, Benjamin. And then I go ahead and continue. Now you'll be able to see it's going to be here. But you want to, in case you want to change, you can still be able to click change. So go to next and you're going to give the the email address that is going to be used to contact you by play console in case of anything they'll use that as a contact email address so once you put, finish to put your email you click verify and you have to put the six digit code so once you put you finish to put the, the code you, you click verify as you can see it's already verified now you have to go do the acknowledgement check this and click next this is going to uh it's it's asking about you something that you can mention or tell them about you you just write anything here for example if you're a developer or you deal with health related things you're going to, going to put it here so i'm going to put here all about technology just as simple as that whatever you're going to put here but it doesn't matter it doesn't affect anything in your profile and then if you have other google accounts you're going to click here yes but if you don't have just click no and the website in case you have the website you're going to put the link to your website if it is http or https for my case i don't have a website for this particular profile i'll show you next time with the one with the website then you click next now it's going to be asked you for this section the apps you select how many apps are you going to be uploading it just depends uh in the next 12 months are you going to upload one application or you're going to upload two or five or six for my case i might have upload more than 10 so go and select more than 10 but that, that this does not affect your profile it doesn't matter what you're going to select and then what is your uh, plan what are you planning to do with this profile do you want to make money or you don't know yet so for my case i want to make money so i'm going to select yes then how do you plan to earn money so you're going to select all those that apply i think for this particular profile i just interested on ads and then after that you're going to come down to uh, categories so what kind of applications that are going to be uploaded here you're going to select all the options that are available and for my case i think i'll select a few for example maybe i take the first one well as you can see if you're as you're selecting these applications it's just okay but there are some applications for example if you select like banking apps you see some types of applications category you selected are only distributed by an organization this may not apply to you so make sure in case you are the plan for this kind of application you have to go back and select an organization in the beginning because this one may not be able to work on your side so i'm going to uncheck this and proceed next now this is now your contacts the contact name email address and preferred other things so i'm going to fill this quickly as we move you're just going to fill in your information now i'm going to put the email here and you can see email you need to you're supposed to verify but we already we already verified it in the early stage so this is automatically ticked now in case you change an email you're going to be entering another code here so now let's go to the next step preferred language obviously i'm going to use english but you can you're free to select any any language of your choice so i have to choose either uk or us but it doesn't matter we mostly use uk in uganda here and the contact phone number 
as you can see this is my phone number already put i've hidden it but of course i don't want uh, for privacy so then you go to next now you're going to accept all these terms if you don't accept any you may not be able to create the account so you check all this then you're going to create account and pay so this is the last step now so just going to click pay and I already have a payment account but i'm just going to show you how you can add a different account in this section now so you're going to click add credit or debit card then you're going to fill in your information so i'm going to use google pay i've linked all my cards to google pay so i'm just going to select the card that i'm going to use right now so this is the card and one thing i need to let you know <clears throat> some cards may not be may not work from here for example if you use um, prepaid cards especially this created by some mobile telecom companies it just depends so you have to keep trying on your accounts if it works then that's okay so for my case this is what i'm going to use and i'm going to fill in my address and other things then save the card as as you can see i've already added the payment method so the next thing i'm going to do is just press buy and this is going to process it's going to take a very short time make sure you have enough funds of 25 dollars you can see the account has been created and already you see develop account created we have sent a receipt to a restriction fee to gmail so that's exactly what happens they send the email to your to your cons to your email that you registered so you got you guy you can now be able to view what you've just registered you click go to play console and perfect well now you can see this is the home page of your console account but before you're able to start anything the first thing that you have to do is you do some verification for example you must verify your your identity then you also verify you have access to android device then the final thing you make sure that you can verify your contact so let's first start with the identity click get started then you're going to accept this and start verification now you're going to put the legal name that is in your identity card for your country so this is going to be so you see i'm going to enter my name then you're going to select which type of id that you that you're using for my for me i'm going to use national id then you must upload the front and the back pages of your id so i'm going to do this quickly i'm going to select id then i'll put the front page which i already have in my documents you receive something like uh, a warning that is make sure it is very clear image contains your id in real focus so make sure that is very clear so I'm, i'll put mine so i'm also going to put the, the back page once done go to the next and now you're going to put your address where can you be your permanent address so i've already submitted documents for the id so the next thing that you do is verify you can access the mobile device android so i'm going to click view and then i need to scan the qr code uh this one which is here so let me copy it so you can see you can either scan the qr code or you just copy the link and put it on your browser and you access it that is just basically that what you need for this section so once you're done with that you also verify your contact number okay you keep quiet now so um you see i've already verified that i have the access to google console then the last thing is just to verify the phone number so um as we wait for this section to verify like finish all these parts because i cannot be able to verify the phone number if the documents are not yet approved but before for the meantime let me go to create an app i show you the basic parts when you begin now you can see when you're creating an app you're just going to up the, put the app name so you can call it maybe calculator let me start with the calculator just to show you how it works then you select the default language i'm going to leave what is there english us then you're going to select here you can be able to change this later but you select either it's a game or it's an app so this is an app then it's a free application then um you also come to declaration just confirm accept accept all this then you go ahead and click create app so you're going to give it some short time you see up here it shows calculator if i click on it you see it's just a draft at the moment so as you can see uh i refreshed i went back to the home page and you see already we have our first application here right now it is in draft and you can be able to delete or manage other things so but in the next video i'll show you how you can upload the app the the apk all those ones will be done in the next video so thank you very much please subscribe like and share this video bye